Nana, no. <laughs> She's fucking chasing me down. No, I, I don't want to join the companions. I don't want to... I don't want to join the companions, Ayla. Please don't chase me. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Um, since last episode, I have gained uh, Sky UI. Um, I have also recorded this part twice, only for me to see that I haven't actually been recording for both times. So, I feel like a fool. <laughs> Uh, but it's okay because I have like a pretty solid plan of attack for this episode so um, last time we did Bleakville's Barrow uh, and this time we're gonna go and head to Whiterun to you know do all the do all the usual beginning stuff that everyone does on episode 4 of of Skyrim so here we are outside of the Riverwood um, I do have to give the call back to Lucan, of course. So we'll do that first, get a nice chunk of money. Um, because we are going to be getting a horse today. You've done a done great, great thing, yep, yep, yep. My sister. Don't let we'll be back to steal this again push. later. Um, We'll be back for this later. Well, yeah, lucky for me, Camilla, actually. Uh, yeah, that's... I'm so happy that you're happy, Camilla. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to do a little quick run around. To see what we can grab. Uh, Camilla, out of the way. You're not from a... Oh, but Camilla, I want to use Thank the cooking pot. So Get out of the way. Out the way. Alright, let's do the horker meat first because it takes up a lot of room. And then do the rabbit haunches. And we can do three vegetable soups as well. Awesome. So, let's go. And while we're here. I'm thinking maybe we could upgrade our sword a little bit. Take what you need, my so friend. we're gonna take two steel ink. Hey, hands off. <sighs> May the gods watch over your battle, I'll go lie. <laughs> I think I just I think I just cried a bit there. Um no don't use that. That was <laughs> That's interesting that he took it though. I've never had that happen before. I'm sorry, Alvor. I hope we're still good buddies. Um I didn't mean to take that. Uh so you should know. Um let's uh let's head out of here before uh let, let's head out of here before uh, we accidentally steal something else. Come on, Sven. <clears throat> So yeah, like I said, I recorded this part twice now, but both times I was not recording. So apologies if I seem like I've done this whole rigmarole before. It's because I have. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to grab the Mars. No, we're going to go up over the hill and take this little shortcut. Uh, just because it just saves a bit of time rather than having to walk all the way around uh, and follow the actual path. So we're going to go up this way instead. Yink. Uh, we're gonna grab some quests while we're in White Run, um, oh, give me, including the Nettlebane quest. Ah! <laughs> including the Nettlebane quest, hopefully. Um, and then I think we might try and do that. I know it's gonna be a little bit hard because it's a Hagraven, but there is a camp nearby, and we do have a bow. So I'm thinking if we can like pick off some of the witches, then we might be okay. Um, if we can, if we can like, cause there's like hags nearby, um, and they're what I'm m more worried about, cause the hagraven is just one person, um, and the hagraven doesn't really leave uh, their little sort of pedestal up at Orphan Rock, um, so it would be a lot easier. 
to just take her on one on one than all the hags. So we're gonna we'll try and get rid of the hags first. We're not gonna do this this episode. I'm saying all this like as if we're doing it this episode. There's no way. I'm gonna quick save just in case I hit Farkas or Rhea. Um, just gonna keep aiming up that way. You won't hit them. Oh, oh, that was close. I'm gonna run away before Ayla can corner me, because <laughs> I don't need her to. Oh God, she's chasing after me! No! Oh my God, no! She's chasing after me! No! I'm carrying too much fuel to run! No! <laughs> Oh god, uh No Ella, no Leave me alone Ella, no <laughs> She's fucking chasing me down No I, I don't wanna join the companions I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna join the companions Ella please don't chase me Oh god, she's still coming. Oh my god. She's still coming. God, we're gonna have to be quick. Yeah. The, fuck it, fuck it, go, go. She's, she's fucking chasing me. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Oh. But we must have more swords for oh, the okay. soldiers. We got away. Only just though, by the looks of it. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of Ooh, that was close. That was a close one. Oh. I work for Bellator at the I can't believe we got away with that. Uh let's head to Bellator's general goods, sell some stuff. Let me know if you see anything you like. Everything's for sale. Uh. Oh, a bit of this Let's and a see. bit of that. Uh, I need to sell some stuff. I am really over encumbered. We're gonna sell the mace. Um, I'm gonna disenchant that. Um, disenchant all this. That can be sold. Uh, spirals can go. Uh, Four garnets. Okay, that'll do for now. Do come back. All right, let's head up to the Jarl. <laughs> I can't believe that she literally hunted me down. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? Tired so don't still. talk to me Had about suffering. Treat Your son your chose his side, and he chose steel. poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. Grey mane or battle boy? Oh, she's battle boy. I say, well met, friend. It's I can tell you what's for sale. A moment All of great eyes on you. You take care of yourself. All I can say about is my There you go. When he says the old hag, then you can talk to her. She'll tell you about how her son is. Uh, she right. thinks her son's alive. She'll give you a quest to come and meet her up in her house. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll talk to Danica in a little bit. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna grab Amran's quest as well. You tried mercenary. My sapphire. Uh, yep, yeah, old sword. I'll find it for you. Thank you. I don't know you. why I'm saying this, but if you find but, it, oh. it took me weeks to. See, when I did it the when I did it earlier today, uh, it was Holy Stream Camp, which I would have preferred, but that's okay. Valheim Towers isn't too bad. It's a little bit out of the way though. A little bit out of the way, but hey ho. Right, let's go into Dragon's Reach. Oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to grab the quest off of Adrian. It's okay, we can grab it when we come back for the dragon. Hello, Erlith. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Thanks. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Well, the dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw it was headed this way. By 
peace, Mir Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood. They say once. Helgen got hit by a dragon. The most One of those danger. horrors comes here. That we'll be ready. Is lurking in the mountains. The Jarl of Falkner will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're oh. preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. Provocation, yeah. We should not. I'm just gonna do some disenchant in a minute, lads, so you have to excuse me. Um. Return to my duties. What's going on, Jarl? Well done. You're welcome. Here, Leather armor. That's nice. Yep. Let's go go talk to the wizard. We my will go and wizard. do that. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rules. Hello. Come to dragons reach no, she's going to say, mm, No, I don't think uh, you can even help me at all. Warriors. Please feck you off. You've got the aptitude. You should join the mages' college so in Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon. That's me. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Just tell me what you need me to do. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleakfall's Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleakfall's Barrow. Find this tablet. Bleakfall's no Barrow, you say? Farangar? Bring it to me. Bleakfall's Barrow, you say? Itself. Something tells me I've already been there. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me just reach into my backpack. This whole thing. This whole stone with some markings on. You mean this? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls. Oh, what a, what a surprise! You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. Well, I'm not a brute. What about my reward? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. I see. Farangar. There she goes. <laughs> Timed it perfectly. Yeah, she's gonna go and. Rant and rave about a dragon. You need to come there, like a dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. All right, Erla. A dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? What, what was it doing? I take this a bit more. I want to hear about this dragon. I, uh, I want to hear about this dragon. All right, fine. I just want the Arcadia's quest from you, but I guess not. Let's go. Right. Well, we're just we'll just let them talk it out then while I discover some map markers. So, you were left person you came from the western So we got four cars carstav. About the dragon. Fort Dunstad. Riverwood. Helgen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? Fort Newgrad, Iverstead. I never Green so I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take Don't mind me, everybody. Barracks for some food and rest. Carth Waston. Irleth, we'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Hey, Good. hey. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Do you? I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. What if I don't you want to, Valgroof? So you hmm? have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. Uh-huh. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to hide see boots of dwindling flames. Whoa, forty percent. Well, not I did this. I got a, I got hide boots that were like fifteen percent. Holy shit! 
Well, we're going to equip these for now. But do you know what? I might even swap over to light armor eventually, I think, because doesn't it scale better? Have I put a point into heavy armor? No, I haven't. Okay. I haven't put a point into heavy armor yet. So maybe I won't. Just in case that I want to swap over to light. Um, I don't think I will. It just depends. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, 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 it's hard. No. Because I'm no, pretty sure... Hang on. All this standing around I envy you the change. Uh, I use it in white run. Ah, that yeah, the priest of Arcadia. I'll deliver the frost salts. Thank you, Bessie. You know, well, uh, um... But yeah, I'm pretty sure that light armor scales better, but that's in vanilla Skyrim. I don't know if, like, the unofficial patch solves it. I know the patch solves a lot of problems, but I don't know if that's one of them. Um... So, who knows? If you know, feel free to let me know, because I would be very grateful. Um, right. So, let's head in. Uh, we'll do Arcadia's Cold on the way back. Uh, so, we'll head down to the dragon, and then we'll... Uh, that is an interesting pose there, John Battleborn. So, yeah, we'll do the dragon, and then we'll, uh, we'll pop back in, and we'll stop in Arcadia's. Um, I think I'm gonna get Breeze home when I can. Actually, no, I don't. Yeah, no, I will. I think I will get Breeze home when I can, just because it's a lot easier to get to. Having a house in one of the main cities is so much easier than having like a one of the Hearthfire houses, um, because they take they take more work to get to. Whereas with White Run, with White White One, <laughs> with White Run, it's just so much nicer to be able to just say, okay, I want to go to my house. Solitude just up there. I go to Solitude, head to White Run. My house is just in there. Yeah. So uh, while we are here, though, I'm gonna hit up Skullvar. Of course. Grab a wild Quite horse uh, map, and we're gonna grab this horse before we do the dragon. Uh, the dragon can wait, right? Um, so let's see. The wild horse notes. So these are all the horses. Um. A lot of them are really cute, um, and but the one we're gonna get get is the red one, which is west of White Run in the open plains. Um, and mainly just because the earlier you get a horse, the easier the rest of the game is gonna be. Um, so originally, I I think I wanted the sp uh, spotted grey, but that's only over in Markarth, and I'm not about that life. Do you know what I mean? So uh, instead, we're gonna go for the red horse um, and. Let's see how long we can keep him alive, shall we? So, it says you can use the Detect Life spell. I don't need the Detect Life spell. Uh, I know exactly where it is. Um, because I I found it in the part that was never to be. So, um, if you also like a horse and you're following along, I don't know if you are, you might be, um, then just follow this. So, from the stable, just head straight across. Straight past this little bit of hilly tree area um and he should be just over this hill yep there he is right where i thought he'd be um so yeah that is the wild horse all right let's try and catch this thing There we go. So wild horses will buck until tamed. Stay mounted until they submit. If you are thrown, try again. Once tamed, you can add a saddle and rename them at any stable. When changing horses, tamed horses will return to the location where they were found. Excellent. So I wonder if this ho Oh, yep. <laughs> there we go. Whee! <laughs> the ragdoll physics when you get bucked off of a horse are honestly hilarious. Um, oh my god, I'm like, I'm like dying. Jesus, what's going on? What the hell happened? Not to mention, but where did the horse go? There he is. Gimme. Come on. Come on, lad. Just gonna try and ride him back to the stables. Hopefully he doesn't buck us off again. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> that fucking animation is so weird. It's so weird. And I don't know why it leaves you in third person either. That's strange. 
All these people that I've seen playing Skyrim in third person, what fucking lunatics. Like, genuinely. Yeah, he's definitely tamed. Nice. So now we have a horse. So I'm just going to ride him over to the stable. We're going to get off on the Convenient Horses quest. We'll start. Convenient Horses is a mod. Um, just type in Convenient Horses on Nexus. It works as Anniversary Edition, provided you have the patches. Um, which will also be on the mod page. So, Right, so the Convenient Horses uh, quest. So here we go. I have an idea how to make my wild horse more convenient. I should go back to it and decide on my next step. So you can either evaluate your riding skills or say you already know everything. I personally would go with I already know everything because sometimes the quests can glitch out. Uh, so what what I do is um, it, the, the, the improve your riding skills is basically it's just a tiny little quest line that takes, well it's not tiny, it's quite long, but it takes you through the tutorial of convenient horses. So being able to um, being able to uh, pick up stuff without getting off your horse and stuff like that so combat that kind of thing but i already know everything about riding and then you do have to pay 500 gold um then your avatar ari here is just doing some little some little note taking and then we come back with a shield and you also get the uh horse call which is grand so, I'm going to actually equip that. I have hiccups. I apologise. Um, I'm going to equip that. And the horse call... I'm not going to not going to equip it. Um, I'm not going to equip it. I just want to favourite it. So, basically, horse call is really handy. Because when... Say that you enter a dungeon. You leave your horse outside. But then that dungeon's exit is like all the way over the other side of the mountain to where you left your horse. Right? And you're like, damn, how am I going to get back to my horse now? Well, you can just call your horse using the horse call. I shall demonstrate. Here we go. Horse call. She blows a horn. And my horse appears. And we immediately mount. ta -da! <laughs> Very nice. Very easy. Very simple. So, uh, I, I will show you the armor does still work, I believe. Yeah, like you need to suppose so. No, hang on, I don't want to buy a horse. You've got the coin. Only um, thing better than riding, of course. Do we? Oh, I do. Look up failed. Ride strong. Oh. So it does work. So then, if I wanted to change its equipment... Oh, okay. So, see, I didn't know this was a thing. So, original equipment is that. Bareback is that. Traveler saddle. Steel barding, which is the armor. Ah, I see. Excellent. So the armor does still work, uh, as you can see. Um, so it does work. Um, I right would also right. like to name my horse, please, of if that's possible. What do we get? River? Oh no, I don't really like river. Yeah. It's cute though. Of course. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Rigmore? No. I... What have we got? What have we got next? Of course. <laughs> this might take a while before we find one we like, but. Aura! Oh, Aura's nice. Aura, okay. Aura is. Now, let's go kill us a dragon. We're peckish, so I will sort that out before we uh, before we head back. Uh, I'm not going to take uh, Aura all the way up to the dragon fight. I'm going to leave her on this hill over here. Um, just in case. I don't want her to end up dying. Uh, you stay there, Sweet Pea. I'll be back. Oh, that would have been a cute name. It's a shame you can't pick the horse's name. Uh, I don't know how difficult that would have been to like code in, but it, 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 it is kind of a kind of a shame that you couldn't can't pick it. Because Sweet Pea would have been a great name. Uh, what are us talking? Let's eat something. Um, we'll do the Horker Loaf because they weigh the most. Figure out what happened. You got it. Spread out and look for survivors. 
We need to know. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm getting slightly chillier on this, so I'm just gonna go stand by this flaming part of grass, if you don't mind. Um, I'm just gonna stand here while I while I warm up a bit. There we go. <laughs> don't mind me. Is he coming again? Where? Oh, there he is. All right, Milmaner. Let's friggin' go, shall we? I'm gonna quick save just in case this goes terribly wrong. Grab bow out. Run away. Fall to me, dragon. Jesus. Oh, lord. Where's Sven? 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 Sure that guy's just standing there. Do you see him? Oh no, there he goes. Sven. Sven. Oh my god, he landed on me. Thank God for those boots of fire resist. Just gonna keep carry on running. Uh, yeah, you deal with it. Not my problem. What's he saying? Oh no, that's punch. What's he on about? Oh God, there he is. There he is. Right, the, the music's actually starting to kick up now. Again, don't know where Sven's gone. Don't know where Sven is. Um, he could be anywhere. That's the downside with playing this game on Master of Guilty is that this dragon would probably be dead by now. Oh god. The dragon would be dead by now if we were playing on like... We would be on the ground by now if we were playing on like a depth or something. Again. Don't know where Sven's gone. Sven could be fucking anywhere at this point. I hope he's okay and isn't dead. I'm gonna need you to come down there, lad. It's so annoying because on the friggin' the, net, the part that I did that I uh, earlier. Ooh. Like, I actually managed to get like a, a kill shot on him. It was great. It was so cool. I jumped on his head and slashed it. It was grand. I looked great. But, you know. Oh god, it really. Carry. Oh. Yeah, I can't carry them. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna assume that Sven is around. Sven. 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 I can't see him. Can you? Magic. Uh, here we go. I'm letting force equip that. Equip it and boost. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? Yeah, I'm, I'm carrying too much shield to run, but I'm just a bit concerned as to where. S what are you doing? A bit concerned as to where Sven is. That's all. Um. He's gonna come and say. Good God, you're Dragonborn! Oh no. Um, Sven? I'm gonna have to drop something, aren't I? God damn it. Uh, I'll drop a scale. I can't believe it. 
Your dragonborn. Who's? Where is Sven? <laughs> so I don't remember the last time I saw him. Oh well, if that was him then, it's not. Um, but I'm just gonna take your shit. Is this shit better than mine? Oh my god, it is so much better than mine. What? Wait, is it actually? 19? 23? No. God, it's because I got the bow equipped. That's what that was. Sven? Sven's gone? Um... I'm gonna assume... Can I wait an hour? Sven? 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 Where is he? I don't even think Aura knows where he is. Maybe if we ride this way, we'll find him? Sven? That's not Sven, that's... That's Delphine. <laughs> There's the fucking... Grey bears having a whinge. Sven? Oh, I think he's gone, lads. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Oh no. Hopefully he's somewhere. One of the guards have gone. Well this is, doesn't seem very promising, does it? Sven? Sven. Sven. <laughs> oh no! I don't remember the last time I saw him. When was the last time I saw him? It was at the stables, right? Right? Oh no. I wonder if when Lydia's here, if she says, you've already got someone with you. Oh my god, could you imagine? Could you imagine? That means Sven's disappeared with all of my skill books. Maybe he's still in here? I don't see Sven. Oh dear. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. So what happened oh dear! Was the dragon there? Uh, the watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Turns out maybe something called Dragonborn? Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? Uh, it's just what the men called me. Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same thing. You've done a great service for me and my city. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. Thank you. The greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? No, of course not. We are honored to have you as the Thank Greybeards. You. Bye, Balgrave. Sven! To White Run? You're back! The the Sven's back! And here's me, Googling how to teleport him to me. Just in case. Sven! What do you want me to carry, oh, thank the Lord. I thought you were gone, buddy. Ugh. 
Uh, I'm just gonna give you this just to get my carry weight down. Um, wait, why is my carry weight so high? Oh, the Axe of White Run. Oh, burn damage. Okay. Here, you can have that, Sven. Oh, Sven. I was about to panic. Not now, Lydia. I'll probably get you at some point, but not now. Whew. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Well, it's a bit late to be headed there, actually, yeah. So maybe we'll have a room at the uh, Bannered Mare first. Then we'll head to Arcadia's Cauldron. Deliver the Frost Salts. You hear that? I swear there's something out there. In the dark. What? Where? Oh my god. Terrifying. What's that about? Eek. Let's head in. I spend a lot of time with the Grab a room. So I can learn Take a seat by the fire. And I enjoy Hello. this book well enough. I'd like a sure room, thing. please. I'll show Thank you. you. No, you don't need to show me. I know exactly where it is. Just let me know. Oh, oh dear, I'm stuck. There we go. Let's sleep for... Eight hours? There you go. We can level up as well. So, let's... Let's go stamina. Fuck it. Um, can we put more into one-handed? We can do fighting stance. Or archery, maybe? No, we can't buy anything else into archery, so. Um, we might as well stick some more into fighting stance. There we go. Excellent. How much carry weight do we have now? 235. Wow, okay. It raises it by 5. I thought it raised it by 10 every time, but I was wrong, clearly. Uh, let's have another horker loaf. Yum yum. Oh my god. I ain't done nothing. Actually, isn't there a thing in the Bannered Mare that I can read? This uh, there might be a few things. I know there's this. Uh, one tamed mountain goat able to carry a hefty amount of weight to the throat of the world and back again. Gives good milk. Okay. So that is the pets of Skyrim. If it's work you're looking for. And then I believe there's also a note here. Yes, called Bashar's diary. Mishara has a secret, not a bad secret like the Battleborn secret affair. Not a boring secret like the shopkeeper who hates his sister. Mishara's secret is too good to be believed. Mishara did not always spend her days like this, a cat who pretends to be a dog. No, Mishara used to be a bandit warrior, a member of the Crimson Dirks. Famous rogues wanted by the East Empire Company. The clan mothers of elsewhere and lawbringers from here to the Somerset Isles. If the guards only knew, they would come and kill her. That is why Mishara can never tell. But time is short. She longs for company. The other day she took to begging outside the city and saw her litter mate, Zarya, walk through the gates. Mishara called her by name, but the Red Guard ignored her. Mishara sh is sure she heard her and made her sad to know this. Mishara does not want to die a rug. Perhaps she will do something mischievous and get the White Guards to attack. Then she will be a warrior once more. The cat's away. If you need more food or drink, speak to Holger. So, can we talk to you? Not you. You mind your manners and pay your Okay, bills. no. And you'll always be welcome. That's fine. Okay, so let's go pick up a couple more quests. So, your soldier has one for a mammoth tusk, but I'm not too interested in that at the moment. We've already got the quest for Amran's sword. I want to find uh, Danica. Who is just here? We kill the dragon once we can it's a shame, isn't it? Tell me about this tree. This is the Gilder Green. It was planted as a seedling in the early years of White Run. Disciples of Kinneret could sense something holy in it and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. They built the temple. Of course, not as many pilgrims these days. What so? Uh, why haven't the pilgrims been coming? A big dead tree isn't very inspiring if you're coming to worship the divine of wind and rains. 
Kinareth gives life, and we need a living tree to be her symbol. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. What kind of weapon would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about a the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. The blessings of nature. Okay. Think about those old crypts. The dead having trouble staying that way. Hilgren's tomb, eh? But anyway, to finish off the episode, I think we're gonna head to the Hall of the Dead. And we're gonna uh, do the little Priest of RK quest, wherever he is. Where is he? Isn't he normally in here? Hello? There you are. Tell me, do you believe in mighty RK, god of life and death? Uh, god of death, I know him well. I'm glad to know that because I need your help. You see, I've lost something precious. What did you lose? My amulet of RK. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. And I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? I'll find your amulet. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Okay. Well, let's take these off and grab this quest. All right, Sven. We're heading into the catacombs. We're gonna kill some skeletons. Cause that's all that's in here. It's just a couple of skelly bobs. Yeah, here they are. They're not that. Oh, sorry, Sven. Oh, I whacked you on the head there. Apologies, my dude. Uh, are there any more down here? I don't know. I think there's three. Yeah. There we go. I didn't use my shield once there, like an idiot. Um, but yeah, here we are. So here's his amulet. Nice, easy, easy quest. Uh, you can take all these goblets as well, apparently. Those might be interesting to sell. Oh my god, Sven. Really? We're doing this? We're still doing this? Sven, we're still doing this? Come on now. Um, but yeah, you can, uh... You can take all the goblets and stuff, if you wanna. Um, ooh, there's a coin purse here that I will take. Uh, that is a, another skill book. Sven, do you I still have my other skill books? What do you want me to carry? I think you do. Yes, you do. Right. Well, I need to do something. All right. What is it? Uh, what I need to go need? and get that. Thank you. Anything else? <laughs> no thanks, Sven. No thanks. So yeah, I I, I am gonna save the uh. I'm gonna save the skill books for when we're uh, level 90 and have done the Dragonborn stuff. Um, or I've gotten the black book anyway. Um, because I think I've never done it before. I think it would be a lot easier. The climb from 90 to 100 is so long, so it'll make it so much easier. With this terrible war, I'm a bit overwhelmed, as are the catacombs. I found your amulet. Oh, thank okay. Please. Take this gold for your troubles. Fifteen gold. Wow. And you're not even class as friendly with him after this. Like, this is still class as stealing. So, <laughs> what was the point? Um, anyway. 
but yeah, now I think... Oh, I never turned Arcadia's salts in, did I? Because it was too too late. Okay, we'll do that now. We might as well, right? <sighs> we might as well. You should talk to Adrian at the forge. Why would I do that? I stole a sword from ancient Nordic catacombs. Where am I going? I want to go to Arcadia's cauldron like an idiot. I went up to Dragon's Reach. Ay, ay, ay. 